How's it going champs? We're playing Teardown. Here we've got a bit of a remix of the Rick and Morty map. This is going to be cool because I haven't really seen this map in a while. But they've stuck a Rick, a Morty. There's, oh what's the name of the mum? I want to say Deb, but it's not Deb. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. I forget her name. Let's go around here. I think there's some guys. These guys kind of look like the bug champs. Is Mr. Poopy Butthole still in the cupboard over here? Is he just hiding? Hey. Yes, I'm gonna hide in here with you, champ. All right, there we go. This guy is basically a cardboard cutout of himself. This is pretty awesome though, because it makes the house feel like it's lived in. You know, is Rick? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're rag dolls. These guys could be added to something else, like maybe spawned into another mod or something. I'm just gonna grab Morty and make him collapse. She collapsed as well. I didn't even touch her. <laughs> oh, there's Summer. She's got her arms up. I have. No idea why. All right. Are there any other dudes? Yeah, they're kind of like coming through Rick's like lab. I want to say lab, but it's actually the shed. Hey, dude. He's holding up the door. Jerry's out here. He's just watering the grass. Jerry, you're such an idiot. So I've got a new modded weapon here called the Great Gun. So just get rid of some of these bad guys. Oh, yeah. Okay. This thing is pretty good. It's like a super powered minigun. There we go. Take them all out. I realize I'm probably taking out the family at the same time, but you can never be too careful. Whoa. And done. Alien invasion is over. You guys don't have to worry. There's now a spawnable Rick's car. Can we drive this? Oh, snap. How do we... It just drives around. How do we fly? Man, this thing is kind of fast. You can speed boost it, all right, using your rocket boost, but you can't, you can't fly this thing. It doesn't take off. Come on, come on. <laughs> I nailed that guy. Oh, what? The door is closed now. Someone needs to work out how to make this thing fly. That would be so much more enjoyable. I do like this thing, Rick's spaceship. It sure is. I want to test out a few different guns that I've got installed here. We have one called a fart gun. Yeah, it does exactly that. It just farts a brown clown. What does the fart actually do? It puts holes in stuff. What? Okay, where's the zombies? Oh, there's one! There's a zombie! All right, I'm gonna get him with the fart gun. Did it kill him? Yeah, it did. There was a lot of fart gas going on, but I did see blood spray everywhere, so that's, you know, that's effective. That's probably what I'm gonna do in a zombie apocalypse. Spray mode. What? Zombie! Oh, cool! It does a different fart noise. Spray mode is pretty good. I was expecting spray mode to be a little more wet. <laughs> Thankfully it's not. What the heck is that? <laughs> Did you see the way that that zombie ran at me? Dude, that was terrifying. Okay, come on zombies. Bring it on. There's actually been a few mods come out recently that are like guns and stuff. Which is cool. I always like testing guns. This thing is actually really good for taking out zombies. I like the fart gun. Okay, what about this weapon? Is this thing good for taking out zombies? Hmm. I think it is. Okay, there's some kind of supernova going on. I'm dead. The other weapon mod I've got installed today is called Bioshock Plasmid. So it's like the powers that you learn from Bioshock, which is pretty awesome. How does this thing work though? Uh, this is super weird. It look- I've got the hammer out, but this thing is like, it's zapping them? Hang on a second, I should be able to switch modes. Oh, there we go. There we go, I just set that zombie on fire! So one of the, I guess, abilities that you can learn in Bioshock is to, you know, just like, bang, combust things. Using your hands. And like, you know, your mind abilities or something. I just did that with a zombie. That is really cool. It's a slow death for those zombies, but it's still effective. Look at that guy. He's coming at me, and then all of a sudden, bang, he drops down because he's actually on fire this whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna switch modes. Oh, are we back to farts again? Oh no, that's an insect one. It's like a swarm. Oh, okay, I changed the modes. What? Oh, that must be the bucking, bucking bronco, I think it's called. Yeah, it like throws things up into the air. If only we could find some zombies to do that with. Come on, zombie bros. Oh yeah, let's test it over here. Oh yes, look at the way the cars just fly up. That is actually a really fun mod. I don't think I've seen a mod do this before. Nice. 
The more it comes down and smashes up the road, the more debris there is to fly up into the air and make more debris. Keep breaking all the things. I'm gonna increase the spawn intensity for these zombies because I'm not seeing any. There's one. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> they are gone to space. What? Where did that zombie go? Is he gonna come back down? No, I think they're gone. I think they're gone forever. Oh, there's one. And he's gone as well. Part of the Finpire Space Program. All right, let's switch it over. Lightning, lightning sucks. It's not even very strong. And oh, the swarms are really good. I like the swarms. Yeah, we gotta take out some zombies with the swarms. Come on, swarm, get him. Yes, get that guy. Oh, you can redirect where the swarm's going. That's nice. So the bugs are just eating the zombies. So now we're gonna get zombie bugs, I guess. So what happens if I pick up a car, for example, and I push it inside the building, and then I use the bucking bronco? Does it smash the building apart? Say sorta. Oh, it's, it does make a mess. I mean, it's hard to just beat a gun though, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like an actual gun, like you point at the thing you want to delete, and you just delete it. Oh my god. This thing just takes out everything. Where's them zombies at? We got... We got one. That's what I'm talking about! It's raining zombies now! Whoa. <laughs> Take them all out! Oh, yes. I actually stood on one of those dudes when I did the bucking bronco. And it threw me up into the air. Guys are coming from the sky. I'm gonna send them back up there. Off they go. Oh, as fun as it is to create like hundreds of zombies at once, it slows your computer down something fierce. I don't even think the fart gun's gonna save me. Hang on. Spray mode? There you go, champs. Get some farts. <laughs> nah, it's too slow. Oh, it's been a while since I've been on this little Sonic map that I made, but I've got a new car that I want to test. All right, Finn's cars. Here we go, Eggman. I finally got around to doing it. I built Eggman or Dr. Robotnik. Look at him. Let's do a quick fly around so I can show you guys what he looks like. He looks pretty amazing. Let me know in the comments what you think of him. It took me ages to paint this guy. I had to paint the model, but it's all painted and he's got like lights and stuff. There's a few lights on the back here that are all glowy around the sides. I think he's looking pretty good. At the moment, he's got like little bricks here which add as the back wheels. You can't really see them, you know, like once you're driving around and you're zoomed out, they basically become invisible. But he drives well, like he's not super fast. Get out of the way, Tails. Um, I don't know what would happen if I went in the water. I'm guessing we would probably just drown or something. There is no way he is getting through that loop-de-loop. -loop. Let's just give it a try. Yeah, it's not happening. All right, we're, we're going in the water. <laughs> We've destroyed the ground. The ground is broken. Uh-oh. Go up the loops. Don't make me use my turbo mode. Nah, it's not working. Okay, I'm gonna have to abandon that one. And let's go ahead and spawn in another one. Eggman, in you go, champ. Let's jump on in, and let's just try and go in the water, just to see what happens. Maybe he'll float, I'm not sure. Nope, he definitely doesn't float. Where is he gone? Has he just sunk? Is he so heavy that he's just gone down? Let me fly under there. Yeah, he's like you're under the map. I'm coming for you, Sonic. I'm gonna get him. Oh, right in the face. Yes, finally a victory for Eggman. All right, so you guys know we have to take him through his paces. We need to see what this vehicle's like, being like smashed with some lasers and stuff. Maybe into the acid pool. We need to test this thing out. All right, let's back it up a little bit. Maybe we'll even smash it into a supersonic just to see what happens. He's staying fairly well upright at the moment. Oh yeah, oh yeah, through the lasers. Oh, that's bad for him. That is very bad for him. I'm actually surprised he managed to fit through there. I was a bit worried he wasn't going to be able to fit. Oh, yes. He destroys the walls so well. <laughs> there is so much rubble. So much rubble. Hang on. Let's get him off the spikes for a sec. Because I wanted to show you guys something. So let's just switch over to a different gun for a minute. I'm going to get this cool beam gun going on. Just to sort of show you guys, you can see like at the top here, he's actually got a glass dome. Yeah, I put in a glass dome just to make it look nice and authentic. That's pretty cool. But Eggman himself is actually bloody on the inside and he's made out of like a softer material. You can see that. 
you can mow him down. Whereas this part here is like parts of it are indestructible, parts of it aren't. But let's just blast this thing away for a sec. And you can see there's a variety of materials on the inside. There's a few wires and things like that. Some of it's actually not destroying at all. I don't know why. Let's just jump down here. Explosive. Whoa. Yeah, that part just doesn't get destroyed. I think it maybe it's made out of heavy metal. Not too sure. Still very destructible though. Eggman versus Supersonic. Let's go. I might even go slow-mo. Oh yeah, that's it. Sometimes slow-mo is too slow. <laughs> All right, here comes Eggman. He's gonna smash him. I wonder if both of them are gonna go through the lasers. Maybe they are. Oh man, nah. Supersonic's done like a weird backflip kick thing and has kind of half destroyed the front of Eggman's bubble ship. I don't know what it is. The egg ship? Oh, the lasers are broken. The lasers are broken. Oh, that's bad. Okay, let's try it without the lasers this time. Coming for you, dude. That's the business. Just mowed him right down. What happened? Oh no, he got stuck on the ramp thing. Ah, oh, there's crap all over the place. His weird egg thing is way too destructible. I could make an indestructible version. I don't know, what do you guys reckon? If you guys do have ideas and ways to improve this dude, let me know. Just gonna get supersonic there with a fart. We could probably get rid of him. I'm not sure how he goes against fart power. This, I don't think that's a part of the game. <laughs> the Sonic the Hedgehog game. Oh, I could probably stick Eggman like right there and make him float in the air. Yeah, yeah, that works. Time for Sonic to finally take him out. Jump in my Sonic mobile, here we go. I'm not sure whether I wanna update my Sonic vehicles mod with Eggman just yet. Or like maybe see if I can perfect his movement a little bit more. Oh man, oh man, we're all over the place. No, we just bounced off him. The problem with trying to smash stuff down with the Sonic vehicles is that his feet hit it first and then he kind of runs up it. Yeah, he just it like doesn't work. His feet are way too grippy or something. Oh, come on. Come on, get back up again, dude. You can do this. Yeah, that's the move. He's kind of missing his face. I don't know how he knows where he's going. <laughs> I don't think he does. Okay, this Sonic might be a little bit better because he doesn't have giant feet to land on first. He should actually hit it with his face. <laughs> this doesn't matter. He's just exploded on the exterior of Eggman's space bubble thing. I think because the vehicle is made of like a metal, it's made out of like heavy metal and light metal, whereas Sonic's head is made out of some really mushy stuff. Yeah, look at him. Look at him in there. Just thinking he's so tough. Oh, we're coming down now. We're coming down now, champ. You're not that tough. I'm inside his vehicle. Man, he's a fat guy. What if I was to fart right on his face? <laughs> Just to stink up the bubble. Yeah, take that dude, his nose actually came off. It smells so bad and he has a hole in his head. Here's the move. I'm gonna climb inside of this guy, right? I realize he's very fat. Probably gonna find some burgers in here. Who am I kidding? Burgers are delicious. Let's put all the C4 around on the inside of him and then get the heck out of here and ignite it. Let's go. Do you ignite C4? No, you detonate it, don't you? All right, here we go. Oh yeah, got him. Oh yeah, that's gotta be painful. Eggman is no more. There's not gonna be a Sonic 3, that's for sure. All right guys, so that's my Eggman mod. Like I said, if you got ways or ideas on how to improve it, let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys next time.